Today we're going to talk about how to make a thumbnail using just your iPad. Trust me, this is an iPad. Let's do it. All right, so let's jump straight into the process of making a thumbnail using your iPad. You should first take a picture with a plain background, preferably with one color only. So I've taken a picture with one blue wall background, and that's a plain color. It can be blue or it can be any other color to act as a green screen. And this is a picture I've taken. Let's tap on to edit because I want to change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, which is the regular YouTube aspect ratio by tapping onto this crop tool right here. That's a crop tool. If you see something like that, trying to adjust your picture, it depends if you really want to crop it. I'm just going to leave it like that and tap onto this icon at the bottom right to change your aspect ratio to 16 by 9. So now the picture is narrower and I see that there's a black bar at the top. So I better move the picture upward a little bit to fill the gap just like that. So my picture is completely filled in that 16 by 9 ratio. And the other thing I want to do, because this picture was taken using a camera, almost like a selfie, and no one was controlling the camera, so it seems like the picture quality is not the best. There is a quick way, if you tap onto this magic wand at the uh, top right corner, it will make the picture a little bit better already. I might want to change up the brightness by tapping on this dial, just to make it a little bit brighter. If you guys want to, I can actually make another video about how to edit photos. I'm going to tap on done. So now I have the picture. And now I'm going to open up Keynote, this icon right here. This is a free built-in app, or if you have deleted it, you can actually go back to the app store to download it. Just type in Keynote, open it up. You can see that I have one thumbnail as a project that I'm working on already as an example. So I with practice before I show you guys. You can see that I have all the thumbnails created using Keynote. Tap on the plus sign. I'm gonna choose this blank theme to start off with. And here I have two boxes to enter titles. I'm just gonna tap onto it, cut it, get rid of it. I don't need that. I'm gonna tap onto the three dots at the top right. Tap onto document setup to change aspect ratio one more time for Keynote. I'm gonna tap onto slide size. 16 by 9. So that fits the YouTube thumbnail aspect ratio. I'm going to hit done and I'm going to tap onto the plus, tap on photo or video. I'm going to go to the one that I've created, how to make YouTube thumbnails. I'm going to tap onto this photo that we just edited and it will be placed right here. And I can drag this to the corner of the slide. I'm going to fill this 16 by 9. You'll notice that your picture might be a little bigger than the presentation slide, but that's okay. Uh, it's not going to affect anything on creating this thumbnail. I'm going to use a tool, this brush right here, when I have the picture selected. I'm going to tap on Instant Alpha. So if you check Instant Alpha, you have the ability to remove whatever color that you don't want in the picture. If I put my finger onto the blue and start sliding it up, you'll see that the blue it's starting to be highlighted. I would suggest you not to go too crazy at the beginning because it will, if you push it too hard, you see that the keyboard starts to get erased as well. So once you start seeing that you have to go back down, as long as you remove the most part, that will be great. And I'll show you how to erase the other remaining part if there is any. So I'm just gonna let go. You see that the background gets removed already. So let's zoom into my arm area and remove this blue and push up so don't push up too much you see that the keyboard gets erased too let's try to erase that i'm gonna highlight this part this blue okay you don't want to do too much i think this side is okay maybe a little bit on this get it so that's how you remove the background color see it's not that hard i'm just going to tap on done now I have a clean background to work with. I can actually change it to any color I want now. If I tap onto any area outside of the picture or the slideshow, I can actually tap onto the brush and select the background color. Now I can choose anything. I can choose a yellow background. Okay, that's kind of matching this table right now. I think the yellow looks pretty good. You can even select an image to put as a background. So you can have a pattern, 
you can have literally like any image but i would suggest you guys to use the image that you have to copyright with so you don't get flagged i don't know if a background would get flagged but you don't want to do that people work hard to create those backgrounds so you don't want to take other people's work so you might want to work on your own background you can even have a gradient background actually this one is not bad at all i'm gonna probably use this i'm gonna f maybe flip the color because the bottom part seems lighter that's pretty cool and i can enhance it by changing the top color even more just like that maybe that's too much i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm gonna show you guys how to add text first i'm gonna tap onto the plus sign and this icon right here this is to add shapes and also text so you see that there's like a really tiny text box showed up in the middle i'm just going to drag it up right here and i'm going to tap onto the brush again this is the tool to edit whatever that you have highlighted i'm going to make the font a little bit bigger so i can see what i'm doing just like that hold on to that and i can change the font you can actually download all the custom fonts onto your ipad i've downloaded some fonts if you guys want me to show you how to download fonts onto your ipad or iphone let me know i can make another video to do that i'm going to show you with some fonts that i've downloaded like this one's pretty cool look at that now my text is right here and i can actually double tab it and start editing i can go i me Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that because I want to have another line of text at the bottom. So I just, I'm just gonna go with I made. And of course I can move this text box anywhere. Maybe try not to go too much, too close to the edge because you don't want the text to get cut off. I'm gonna tap on the brush again. I can tap on the color to change the font color to something more obvious, let's say white. I'm gonna add another line of text. See the text box? So just to show you guys one more time, just drag it. You'll notice that if I move the text box around, you see this yellow line showing up. That's when you know if your text or your item or your, or the objects that you're moving, it's aligned in the center or in the middle, look at that. It's really, really good. It will even tell you if you're aligned with something else that you have on the picture or your image already, so you know that you're centered. So that's the beauty of using Keynote. I'm going to tap onto the brush one more time to make it a little bit bigger. You see that the text gets squeezed into like one row or one column. I'm just gonna make the text box a little bit bigger. Select the brush again, change up the font, maybe try to match it. I'm gonna use the same text. I'm gonna double tap and I made this with, with an iPad. Okay, so this is kind of too crowded. That's okay, let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna change the color of the font so you see what I'm doing at least. I'm gonna spread it. I'm gonna make the text box a little bit wider so it looks something like this. So let's continue. I'm gonna change this font to something else to make it a little bit more obvious. Maybe something like that and I'll make it a little bit smaller because it seems like it's too big. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move it a little bit. We're off the center, that's okay. And I'm gonna move the color box. I'm gonna change it a little bit smaller so it's just gonna highlight the text. I'm gonna leave a gap here because it looks cooler with this. I'm going to tap onto any empty area to see the result. And this already looks pretty good with this font, this background, and the color box at the back. It really highlights what I'm going to show in the video as a thumbnail. And it works really well in Keynote. And another cool thing about using Keynote to make a thumbnail type of art is you can see a small version at the top left corner that actually work as a thumbnail so you can have a little bit of a preview of how it looks like when it's super small you can see that in this super small thumbnail i can still see the text of saying i made this with an ipad so that's perfect now let's talk about how to add a white border of whatever you need to highlight uh, we can tap onto the plus sign 
and we can tap on to photos and videos. I don't know why they put it here, but we're gonna tap on drawing. You can actually use your finger to draw, but if you have an Apple Pencil, that's even better. If I want to highlight this, I will stick with white, and I'm gonna use, oh, actually I need to use this one right here. I will show you why. I will tap onto the color palette, select white. This tool allows you to actually just draw a border of whatever you want to highlight. So let's say if I want to highlight myself, I'm going to start off with my arm. You see that it's like a shape getting cut. Get through, finish it right here. I didn't get to the bottom of my arm right here or my elbow. I can actually move this. You don't have to worry that your dotted line is outside of the slide. It's fine. Just going to do this. Ah, the whole thing is erased, but that's okay. Don't worry. Don't panic. Tap on to done. And remember, we can change the layer. We can move this layer behind everything. I'm gonna move this, boom, boom, Oop. As long as you slide everything over, then it will be moved to the bottom layer. So you see that in this thumbnail, everything it's bordered with the white color. But it, I know it's not the perfect shape, I'm gonna fix it, but that's the idea. You just choose that tool one more time, the plus drawing this tool right here, pick the color that you want to highlight the object or the subject with, draw the border literally with your finger. It might be more accurate if you have a pencil. So that's how you add it in like that. So you're pretty much done making the thumbnail. In order to save it, what I usually do is I will play the slideshow to fill the screen like this. And you take a screenshot with the volume and power button on your iPad. I have a shortcut right here and you can tap onto it, tap on the screenshot and it will take a picture of your thumbnail, but it's not yet done. I'm gonna show you how to edit it because in this iPad aspect ratio, it's bigger than 16 by nine, so you have to change it again in photo. So now we have that picture open inside photos. We're gonna tap onto the edit button again. We're gonna tap onto that crop tool and it'll probably make some adjustment. I don't want that. I'm gonna tap on reset because I want everything to be in the frame. I'm gonna tap onto the crop aspect ratio. I'm gonna choose 16 by nine. So now I have a 16 by nine thumbnail. I'm gonna tap onto done. That's how you make a thumbnail using an iPad. Again, if you want me to show you how to import fonts onto your iPad, let me know. That's how you make a thumbnail using just your iPad. Good luck creating, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Totally forgot to turn on that light in the intro, but anyway.